this is an impromptu video. I'm going to try and explain this uh, waste oil burner heater that I built. And this is uh, just start to finish, starting this thing up and explaining it. First, to explain it, this uses a uh, 20 gallon propane tank which is set down inside of the Harbor Freight tool cart which then is sheet metaled off with a blower motor and here's your outlet so that turns the cart into a heat exchanger. This is my oil tank my oil valve, oil feed valve, this is where you look through to see your oil feed. It goes down inside to the 20 gallon propane tank. So, with the help of my lovely assistant, thank you dear, this is the propane tank right here. This is our lid for it. This is the blower motor and kind of the thing that makes it all happen. So this blower motor blows down through this tube. You can see the holes in this tube, I hope. And they are drilled to make a vortex. This bottom piece here has an air opening here, some holes drilled in the bottom. And the same on this side, so we get a swirl effect. So, this comes out for cleanup because there is a very small amount of ash. Now this is from running this thing for two days. This is what's left behind. I've built this tool to come down in here and scrape out the crud. This is supposedly the additives that they put with engine oil. So, we'll get our little piece out of here. And maybe one more little bit. Yeah, that was like um, 10 quarts of oil I burned through here. And you don't have to do this every time, but I do. Okay, I will be right back. As you can see down in here, this is where the oil comes out. Down at that little, down yonder there, that little pipe that comes in. It's as simple as that. The oil what splashes out of that or just runs out of that in the bottom of this chamber. So we're going to put our blower assembly back in. It just snaps into place like that. That's how I built it. Then trade places with the hunter. We add oil. This is my oil reservoir, which was a Freon tank. Can you look in there? Oh. See, this is oil. And I'm putting in, I don't know, there's probably three quarts, something like that. And that's going to heat this place all afternoon. Because when you turn it down and you get it set up just right, this thing puts out really good heat. And it's very efficient. So I'll put on my little cover. There. Now, some people use kerosene to start theirs. Other people use straight gasoline. Other people use diesel. I do not. I prefer mixing some oil and gasoline. Like I said, man, oh, I didn't say, hey, I, I, this is a disclaimer. I'm not responsible for shit. Yes, the lens is open. I was hoping the lens was open. Anyway, I, you do this at your own risk, all right? But from my experience, this is way cleaner than burning wood and 
it's just a, a lot better option for me. So anyways, okay, we're going to prime this thing. Let me dump like a cup or so of that oil gas mix. And then we throw a match in it and light it up. We'll get our match going good. And it'll go poof. It went poof. See? Just like that. So then I put my cover on it because I don't want any of that smell in here. And I go over here to the wall and I plug this gizmo in. And this runs both blower motors right off the bat. Now these are not crazy blower motors. They don't blow out like mad. But I will show you what we do to introduce the oil. We turn this on. You can see our drip. And that's about all you really need. You can turn it up. Okay, I'm going to clear it out. There we go. Then I bring it down to just a nice little thin, yeah, about like that. And that's why I painted that silver spot back there so I could see what I'm doing. It is critical that you have a good valve here. As that valve goes, and you are in trouble, man. This thing makes terrifying heat. I don't mean like wood stove heat, which they get really hot. This thing gets, you can make terrifying heat with this thing. So, like I said, both of these blower motors are, they're not crazy high output and they're not variable speed. They're relatively quiet. And that's what I wanted out of this thing. Was, you know, something that's not howling at me. I've seen other videos where guys use hair dryer blower motors and all this loud crap, and who wants to listen to? Ah! I don't. Isn't that pleasant? You'll end up hearing the roar of this fire once it gets going, and it's kind of soothing. Now you can see we're swirling, but we're not blue yet. This is heating up, but you can see what we're achieving with that vortex. Now in a matter of minutes, this thing is putting out serious heat. I made this to be directional. It can be turned whatever direction I want, wherever I want to put the heat. Now when it comes to the spring and we've got the ungodly ice flow in front of my shop door, I'm going to simply roll this thing outside, turn this thing down, and I'm going to melt all the ice out from in front of my doorways. I can't wait to do that. That will be so satisfying. So, I'm just starting to feel a little heat. And this is a real-time video. Check our flow again. Once the oil heats up, it will thin out. There we go. That's about right where we want it. You can see. It's changing a little bit. Yeah, there's no fumes. I don't smell anything bad here. I mean, you could maybe faintly smell oil. Do you smell oil, hon? She do not smell oil. And if wife does not smell oil, well, that's a good thing. It's like with the, the chimney here. We can actually grab the chimney with this heat setting. Oh, we don't want to do it down here. You're going to burn the skin off your fingers. But this is my waste oil heater and uh, super efficient really really good heat comes out of this thing and it's a great alternative to well, I'll take you over here through my mess this is the old humble stove what's that an old oil filter 
I'd never burn old oil filters or anything like that. Now this was the humble wood burner. I used this thing for years, but the the heat jacket is all rotted out. And it it's ashes. It's smoke. Stuff that really bothers my lungs in my old age. This is so much more efficient and so much cleaner. And oh wow, what is this? What in the world is this? It's a 79 YZ250 I've been restoring since Janice is gone. I've been unfaithful. I've been working on the YZ250. Don't look at me that way, my wife. Not to you. To my motorcycle world. This is a 79 Yamaha YZ250 that really, really needed to be brought back to life. It just got done with the tank. What do you think? Beautiful, huh? Pretty nice, huh? These are my favorite bikes of all time. Yeah, fresh piston, bore, new crank bearings, all new seals, all new brakes, wheel bearings, tires, tubes, rims, strips. Yeah, it's a beautiful bike. It was a one-owner bike. And uh, it is just, I think the only thing that's not stock on this bike is the levers. These dogleg levers. Otherwise, yeah, the bike's like 100% stock, so they're very, very rare to find these things uh, unmolested. So anyhow, how are we doing here? Is it starting to howl? I can hear it. Can you hear the happiness going on in there? Oh yeah, it's getting blue. Can you see that torrent of flame down there? We're rocking it, man. That's right. And nice and quietly and efficiently. And all my wife will be able to tell you whether this is good or not. Is this good, Lorene? That's right. It makes heat that quick. And I mean, it's pretty dang awesome. It, to shut this down, I'm not going to do it now because it's freezing in here and I want the heat. But when I do shut it down, you shut off the valve. We shut off our oil flow. And that's still too much. It's going to get terrifying. There we go. We shut off the oil flow and in about five minutes, this thing shuts down and uh, it's it's just really nice you know with, with the wood stove I hated the fact that okay I'm going in the house now and the wood stove is still going and it's like you know it has to burn itself out without me here this thing shuts down in like five minutes and I know there's nothing crazy going on so there, we hear that happy flame. Now, it should be all blue in there. Yeah, look at that. You can see the blue flame coming out of the holes in my burner. That's right. Oh, I really like this thing. This is one of the best projects I've ever stuck together. I'm uh, very pleased. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's about it for this little video. Uh, yeah, 13 minutes. But that start to, we're putting out crazy heat for my waste oil burner. So more to come with model planes and uh, my cars, my car, but yeah. We're not in the flying season at all right now. We are in, um, well, we are in cold ice. Yeah, crap out here. Deadly conditions. Snow on top of ice. On top of piles of snow. So yeah, man, I really, really like that heater. Hey, thanks for watching.